Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about Zello but from a Zello channel owner perspective. Uh, if you are a owner of a Zello channel I strongly recommend to follow this video. Uh, there is a lot of useful information that you will find in this particular video if you are a channel owner and I recommend you just to follow the uh, information that I will give you right here until the end. I know it's pretty long the video but it is so interesting you will learn a lot about uh, uh, your channel ownership and what you can do with it. If you uh, are new to uh, or you want to be a channel owner you want to create your own channel it's very obvious you just open Zello and you go into the channel uh, tabulator and there you can add a channel and uh, if you add a channel you can either find a new channel or you can also go to a trending channel or you can just create a new channel. Now I'm going to take this uh, third option here and uh, let me just explain to you how it works. Um, if you create a channel, uh, first of all you can add a picture just by clicking on the picture icon. You can add a audio message and what happens here if somebody gets into your channel and they want to uh, get into the channel they will hear this particular audio message. It's a 30 second message that is actually be playing, being played back so the maximum amount in time is 30 seconds. You can delete it later on, you can also modify it so I'll come back to this, to this in a few moments. The name needs to be a unique name so no other channel has the same name in the Zello network the channel description location and website this section here I'm not going to talk about it, it's pretty, pretty straightforward the language uh, languages this is pretty important because if you choose a language right here it needs to match the language of the profile of the user who is searching in the trending channels so if you if you want your channel to pop up in the trending channel list and they're searching for trending channels only those users who have clicked on French in their profile will see this particular channels, channel here that I'm creating right now because it has French also enabled as the main language. So just be aware of that. You can uh, just uh, select or just the, 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 the selection of the language um, needs to match the selection of the language of the users searching for your channel in the trending channel. So you can have up to two different languages here in the channel um, language tabulator here. So uh, next thing categories I'm not going to talk about it it's pretty straightforward so you can choose what kind of type of channel you're talking about. Types and this is going to be very important and interesting you have three types of channels on Zello you have the open type, you have the Zelec type and the Zello cast. Uh, type of channel. Now I'm going to come back to this here in uh, more detailed uh, information uh, instructions video here in this video here because every type of channel does have different kinds of users and basically an open channel means that everybody uh, can talk into this particular channel a Zellocast channel means that only owners and moderators are able to talk into the channel and the users actually become listeners and the Zelec channel is a channel where we add a couple of more users and specific users they have uh, more rights than other users but I'll come back to this in a few moments from uh, version 2.65 I think it is uh, we now have the images implemented so you can share images through the channel uh, so if uh, a user wants to send a picture to everybody who is in the channel they can do so. Uh, with this section here you can either disable, enable it. Pre-moderated uh, images means that only images approved by the owner and the moderators and admin well you can read, read here uh, only owners and moderators can send the channel. Now verified, I'm going to 18 plus is, is pretty straightforward we required email address what this means if you enable this feature here and you are a little bit worried who comes into your channel um, you can always enable this particular feature what does this mean if somebody subscribes to Zello uh, they need to give an email address and uh, they only uh, they will only allow it into your channel unless they have gone into their email and confirmed the email that they have received from Zello. So that's actually a required ver uh, ver verified email address. So 
if you really want to be able to track back who is doing some problems or making some problems in your channel you can enable this feature what happens if the user tries to get into a channel that has this feature enabled and does not have a required verified email address so when they have no verified email address they will be played message and in the message the voice message uh, when they connect to your channel they will be told that they need to verify their email, their email address first before they actually can access your channel so they will get the instructions in the audio message that will be played back if they uh, connect again again the same message will be played back until they have actually verified their email address require password is pretty straightforward so this means that require password means that you can put a password on your channel so only those who have this password can enter your channel um, I might have a crash now uh, yeah there you go so uh, I told you this is a little bug I still need to uh, make this bug report uh, but uh, yeah Zello crashes when you don't fill in uh, one of the channels here uh, or don't fill in the information anyway I'm going back to um, to my uh, channel list here and I'm going to show you that for example uh, my main channel here 27555 is actually a select channel so if I go into the channel here uh, and I can modify my channel again just by clicking on the icon uh, and here upstairs you will have the edit uh, possibility and here I can actually just very simply uh, change these settings again after you have uh, created your channel as you can see uh, my channel is a select channel I will come back to this in a few moments but uh, one thing I want to explain you also uh, is that uh, you can do the listing of the uh, channel users over here and as you know uh, you can also just very simply uh, go into uh, your channel and modify these um, channel users their rights now let me come back first to the different kinds of users um, that are in these different types of channels if you have an open channel you have uh, three types of users you have the owner you've got the moderators and you have the users which can be contacts or non-contacts if you have a uh, somebody of these guys talking into the channel everybody is able to talk into the channel uh, with the Zello cast uh, the same kind of users they come back so they have uh, you have an owner a moderator and the users now the users they actually become listeners because uh, a Zello cast means that only the owner and the moderator they can broadcast in this particular channel and uh, the users their PTT key uh, will be grayed out so they cannot key up they can only listen to what's happening in, the, in this particular channel and then we have the uh, Zelect channel now what is a Zelect channel It's the same as a open channel but not really completely because we actually add two different users on the user levels so you have the owner you have the moderators you have the trusted users and we have the untrusted users uh, suffice it to say that um, uh, the type of channel also have uh, consequences on uh, how long people can talk into your channel so uh, meaning if you have an open channel here uh, everybody has total floor talk rights so that means if somebody keys up in these particular channels here either the owner the moderator or the user if they start to key up nobody else can key on top of them nobody so even if a user starts to key up and he's keying up for half an hour nobody else of the user like the moderator or the owner can actually interrupt the transmission of somebody else in this particular channel who is currently transmitting um, I'm not going to talk about Zellocast because it doesn't make any uh, sense but actually also the owners and the moderators they have full floor talk so uh, you cannot key on top of somebody else if somebody is actually currently keying up on the channel it's not the case with the Zelect channel uh, in Zelect channel we have something like uh, a specific floor talk time and it also depends on who is actually uh, keying up um, these different types of users you can actually control them just by going into your Zello channel 
and uh, here you have all these different users here I get six users connected uh, I'm going to take uh, nine sugar delta zero one nine Alex sorry mate uh, you're my victim today I'm going to delete the moderator rights so if you wanna uh, give somebody specific rights you as a channel owner you can actually control uh, everything you can make untrusted users trusted you can make untrusted user a moderator you can also make uh, trusted user moderator or block them or whatever so if you if you look here in the channel here I have Alex right here and Alex uh, I can actually also uh, change and make him a trusted user and you will see that the status changes also now there's one thing I want to uh, let me just revoke his trusted rights there's one thing I want to explain to you which is pretty significant um, and I hope uh, Alex did that I think so so let me just uh, remove Alex from my contact list and look what is displayed here 9 sugar delta 019 Alex I'm going to first of all let me just go and have a checkup so maybe he's not a, the best uh, the best yes he is a, okay yeah you can see so the actually he, he signed up with uh, Zello with 1 sugar delta 019 and in the name field you can see that his uh, call sign is 9 sugar delta 019 so there is a difference now uh, let me just so show something to you okay he's gone uh, so Alex I know you wanted to go away so let me just take somebody else let me take David I'm going to uh, delete his moderator rights and uh, I'm gonna check also again KP um, he didn't fill in his name field so he is a bad example as well okay let me make him a trusted user and make him a, a moderator again one moment okay let me see if I can maybe Sean here I'm gonna check what he did yeah he, he you see he his name this is his name okay this is his name field it's uh, Sean blah 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 and his actual login name for Zello is MM3 Papa X-ray Golf separation Papa now if I'm going to remove him from my uh, contact from my yeah from my contact list let me do that um, here's a contact list and he is right here and I'm going to delete this contact you will see actually when you do the listing of the channel users uh, that uh, actually his uh, login name is displayed and you also lose the information about uh, his current status so as you can see uh, this is his uh, current listing here if I just add him as a contact and go back to my channel you will see that actually what will be displayed is what he has written in the name field so pretty important if you are a channel owner uh, and you want to have a little bit more control make them as a contact so you can actually check what's going on now I can remove somebody's status um, and I can also uh, give them their status back just by long push to long push on the name so it's pretty obvious now you can also mute the user and uh, if I long push here the mute user user is actually available for owners mm, moderators I'm not sure if I can yeah uh, moderators and, and, and trusted users you cannot mute a untrusted user now if you uh, if you get in trouble with untrusted users making noise you can bring them back to the trusted user status mute them and then revoke their trusted rights now let me just do that for you so it gives you a clear detail just a little trick in between okay so I'm going to delete the moderator imagine he is an untrusted user here if I long push you will not have the mute feature but if I make him a trusted user I will have the mute feature and he is muted out and I can revoke his trusted rights so now uh, Sean is muted and uh, although he is untrusted so let me just uh, it's a feature request I will do for uh, Zello um, uh, so we can also mute untrusted users now I'm gonna trust him again 
Okay, he's gone, so I'll have to wait uh, until he comes back. Okay, next thing I want to uh, explain to you um, is uh, who can talk with who. And uh, I need to take another slideshow about this, so um, let me do that. And actually I'm going to check who can talk with who depending on the type of users on the different levels. So moderator A and moderator B they can talk with each other which is pretty obvious. Uh, trusted uh, user A and trusted user B can talk with one another but the untrusted users they are unable to talk with each other. So if this guy starts to key up this untrusted user B will not hear untrusted user A. Who will hear untrusted user A will be actually, so if this guy talks here, let's imagine this guy is talking, it will be blocked, it's not going through to the other user, his signal. Uh, it's not going through either to the trusted users, it's blocked, but only moderators and also the channel owner will be able to hear uh, this guy over here. Okay, pretty important uh, because um, trusted user A, if he starts to talk, he will, the untrusted user will able to hear him as well as the moderator and the channel owners. So just be aware of that uh, they are muted from each other are the untrusted users. Okay, uh, this is interesting because as some people know I, I do own my SSB uh, a repeater uh, and my SSB repeater uh, is actually based on untrusted user entries for the microphone input and for the speaker output and of course the speaker of the radio needs to be muted out from the um, microphone because otherwise you create a loop. Um, now let me uh, just also tell you something about this is the floor talk. What is floor talk? Floor talk means that somebody has the right to have a specific amount of time to talk into a channel uh, before somebody else can key on top of them. And this is done in the select channel. Is we have actually uh, the implementation of 20 second floor talk. So if somebody starts to key up um, in a particular channel uh, they will be able to talk for 20 seconds and only uh, 20 seconds unless they actually have uh, specific rights. Now let me just show something to you. Uh, 20 second floor talk is for the channel owner, for the moderator, for the trusted users. But untrusted users they get zero second floor talk. So this means that if an untrusted user starts to talk and somebody who is either trusted, moderator or the owner, which is actually not really true because it's only the moderator and the channel owner who have zero second floor talk so they can moderator B and the channel owner can key on top right away when he starts to talk. So uh, priority is given to channel owner and moderator. The trusted user actually, I'm not sure, I, I never tested it out, but I, I think they don't have really a, a floor talk, a 20 second floor talk on top of an untrusted user. Um, also important is that um, the um, channel, if you are a channel owner, because this is something I have not explained yet, um, if uh, you are a channel user uh, and you want to give your ownership of your channel to somebody else, you can do that. Now, uh, let me just try to log in here again because it seems to, that I have been logged out. But you can actually, if you, if you think carefully, you can actually um, log or give the ownership of a channel to somebody else. So in case that you uh, are going away for holiday, for example, and you need to uh, give the uh, channel into the hands of somebody else, you can do that. Uh, and the only way to do that is just by going into the um, uh, website of Zello. And uh, once you have uh, logged into the website of Zello, you will be able actually to uh, change the ownership from your channel to somebody else. And uh, I'm trying to key up here. It seems that it I didn't work, so I'm going to try again. Wow. 
okay I won't be able to log in into my account but basically if you want to change the ownership from your channel to somebody else uh, you just go on the uh, website of Zello you log in with your credentials okay and once you have logged in with your credentials uh, you just uh, give the ownership to somebody else uh, but they need to be a moderator first they cannot you cannot actually uh, give the uh, okay now now it's working so let me just show it to you uh, this is the user I've logged in into my uh, Zello account on their website on the Zello website you see my channel here and you see that I own a channel called Zello demo channel and um, if I want to give this channel to somebody else uh, I could just go into this uh, show moderator here let me just do it and you see there are two moderators and I can give the ownership but just by clicking on this icon from this user here to the other user and as you can see the channel has disappeared so if you want you can also change the uh, ownership of a channel to somebody else um, this is one more slideshow um, actually what I wanted to explain here in this slideshow is that the untrusted users are muted out uh, to the normal users so they will not hear the untrusted users only tr untrusted users can only talk to moderators and can only talk to channel owners and this is important as well because they are deaf from each other but they are also deaf between the trusted and the untrusted users that's basically it about uh, channels and everything that you need to know about uh, uh, Zello uh, channels if you are a channel owner so thanks for, uh, for joining up and uh, hopefully uh, talk to you soon uh, thumbs up if you like the video.